Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about light and shadows. Are you ready? Let's begin! What is light? Light is what lets us see everything around us. It comes from sources like the sun, light bulbs, and flashlights. When light shines on things, we can see them. Without light, it would be completely dark and we wouldn't be able to see anything. How do shadows happen? When light hits an object, it usually passes through some things, like glass. But it can't go through solid things, like your body. When light is blocked by something solid, it creates a shadow behind that object. A shadow is just a dark area where the light couldn't reach. If you stand in the sunlight, you'll notice a dark shape behind you on the ground. That's your shadow. It's the shape of your body because your body is blocking the sunlight from hitting the ground. Why do shadows change? Shadows change in size and shape because of the position of the light source. If the light is close to you, your shadow will look big. But if the light is far away, like the sun in the sky, your shadow will look small. Shadows can also move when the light moves, like when the sun changes position during the day. Let's try a fun little experiment. You can try making shadows with your hands in front of a light, like making a dog or a bird shape with your fingers. This is called shadow puppets and it's a fun way to see how shadows work. So light helps us see, but when something blocks the light, we get shadows. Now here are fun facts about light and shadows. The speed of light. Light is the fastest thing in the universe. Light can travel about 186,000 miles per second. If you could travel at the speed of light, you could go around the Earth 7.5 times in just one second. No shadows on a cloudy day. Ever notice that on really cloudy days, your shadow is hard to see or disappears? That's because clouds scatter the sunlight in all directions, so there's no direct light to make a clear shadow. Your shadow can do a split. If you stand between two light sources, like two lamps, you can see multiple shadows. One for each light source. Your shadow can look like it's split into two or more. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about light and shadow today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!